Welcome back to Waze. Um, according to an editorial in The Guardian, before technological innovations are brought about the internet, the financial frauds are popularly known as the 419ers were in operation in Nigeria, especially in the commercial city of Lagos. They were mainly grown-ups, educated and illiterate men and women who specialized in using fax machines to defraud unsuspected foreigners and Nigerians. In the early 90s, they were the big men and women in the society. They commanded respect because of the enormous wealth at their disposal. Some of them were caught and convicted. In recent times, with the coming of the internet system, Nigerian youth, especially undergraduates, have taken to the illicit trade called internet scam. Investigations reveal that this development is responsible for drastic reduction in cultism in the higher institutions as it has been overshadowed by the widespread of cyber fraud. To join the conversation, tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Waze Shows Africa One with the hashtag Waze, or you can send your SMS to 081 803 um, Charles Edo Songwa is a PL strategist and the CEO of Tech Site Edge. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. As a tech man, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll start there. Um, you, you, when this topic came to you, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Okay. Is this true or it's not true? Funny, um, I think the first thing that came to my mind, I was just discussing with Hannah, the first thing I, that came to my mind was why. So it's not the most glamorous topic. It's not the most traffic-driven topic, right? Why? Why would then lead to the mindset of the persons who had put the show together? What did they really want to achieve? And looking at that, I went on Google and I searched, like, I mean, I searched the topic, basically. I put it there. Two things came to mind. One is there were no journals that was talking about money mindset within the first two pages, mm. first things, right? And second was the topic made it very, very clear and it was not something that people discuss in Nigeria. Absolutely because it not. is not frowned out, it is celebrated. Exactly. You understand? So that really got me thinking, and I'm like, OK, this is really an issue. And this is the reason why, I mean, well, we, we need to talk about it. Mm. Talk now, about it if, now. If I may come in now, the, the Nigerian youth is perceived uh, abroad as uh, a common person that could actually, um, that the is fraud a, a yeah, fraudster, it as it is. you know, yeah. there's a you fraudster. Don't say it as it is. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fraudster. You see a Nigerian, you actually think, oh, no, I can't trust you with this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So how do we eradicate this concept of those abroad in Niger about Nigerians? Um, first things first, we yeah. have to practically do it, which is putting accountable systems in Nigeria. The Nigerian man is not different from any other homo sapien in the world. The only thing is, can he get away when he does it? Yes, so he would do it, hmm. right? So you have to create that accountability system. But the most important thing is you have to address the, the money mindset, right? If you look at the world money mindset, according to Forbes, they say money mindset is all of the beliefs you hold around money and the possibility of money. Now you then would drill down and say, what are beliefs? How did we come about having these beliefs? You, you have beliefs by the information people give to you that you refuse to research, so you take it, <laughs> you as, it take as it is. And you then, it's also by what you see, because when you came into this world, your mind was a tabula rasa. It was clean. Mm -hmm. So every other belief, you saw it. So you then need to ask yourself, who's feeding the Nigerian youth, and what is the Nigerian youth seeing Absolutely. for him to have this kind of belief system? <laughs> Absolutely. You say you need to be asking why. Yeah, Faith, uh, yeah. I think you should come in, because I have a question. Yes, uh, <laughs> I do too. I was That's just also sure. thinking, like just the other day with my friend, we are just laughing about how like Yahoo or 4 one mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. <laughs> people are actually keeping a lot of like restaurants and clubs open because if you go out now like I'm sure you can spot them out easily with their loud hair and mm -hmm. chains and Mer white Mercedes and loud spending yes and white Mercedes Benz you know so what do you think is the cause for the rise in internet fraudsters, especially amongst the youth? So, um, for me, I would break it down. To, I'm sorry, I like breaking things down. Please okay. break it down. Sorry. That's why you're here. <laughs> so, I'm breaking down into some simpler models, right? Okay. If you say, if you talk about the rise, why do we think the rise is there? I mean, what are the youth seeing? Now, we, we, we had initially said that to come to a belief system, it's about what you're seeing and what you're hearing, like who's feeding you information, and that's what you believe. What's the Nigerian youth seeing every day? Mm. He's seen politicians stealing money, mm. Mm -hmm. and they have been celebrated. Yeah. He's seen people walk into places and they literally rolled out the red carpet awesome. and they know they are fraudsters. Yeah. Come on, what's not to like? So in it's other the words, it's we the are experience. not being held accountable no. for whatever crime we have committed. Yes. I think, I, I, think I, I want to take you back because you said something very profound, which is systems. And you are a tech person, you understand? If this thing has come as a result of the, what's it called, the growth in the internet um, um, availability and all of that, I also feel that if we have to curb it, we have to go to that source as well. So as a tech person, where do you see um, plugins where government or probably people can put in those systems mm -hmm. to check and balance these things? Because it's actually very huge. Now, I was reading as well, and in my research, I saw young Nigerians studying abroad, medical doctors. These are proper professions that they have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they do something they call wire transfer, do whatever it is that they mm -hmm. do. You understand? These boys have gone to school. It's not like they, do, they are not going to school. Mm -hmm. But now it is so bad that this same crop of people that are schooling, they are so, you know, for you to study medicine, you are not... Yeah. You are not a dumb person. Mm -hmm. And they are now using that intelligence for internet fraud. It's very worrisome. And sometime early 20, um, 2018, because I do a lot of projects with young children. So I was on a school tour. And I was talking to this young boy. He was so worried. He was saying that my mommy says I should go to the university so that I can make money. Right? But right now, we have seen, remember? What you see, what you hear, yeah. we've seen, it's been proven that you don't need to go to the university to, to make, make money. money. Because we need to change that language of what we are even saying to our children. You're not going to the university because you need to make money. You're going to the university to get yourself educated so that you can become, you know, whoever it is that you want to be. So this young boy was telling me, in a school in Agege in Lagos here, they are recruiting them. Not even now from tertiary institute, from mm -hmm. secondary school. So as yes. soon as they are done with secondary school, there yes. is a cabal. there is a cabal that recruits them that young yes. and put them into um, what's it called um, internet fraud. And you know this is growing so big. Mm -hmm. So how do you think the government can plug in, you know, into the same? Because we have to go back to the system and yes. see how we can plug in to check it. Yes. So. We can't necessarily go back to the internet. So I'll take you back to your first question. Do we have to go back to where it all started? We can't necessarily go back because, I mean, the internet has brought us this far. Yes. Right? And it has sped up a lot of things in our development. However, we can always count on the human race. We can always count on man when every other thing fails. Has failed, fails. Right? So we then need to go back to the educational sector. Mm. Right? How, how, how easy is it to get educated, right? I am almost very sure that 90% of the persons on this table, right, either schooled abroad or have done some form of education or something or training abroad. The question is, why? Pick all of the notable Nigerians you know, right? 
check out their resume. Anytime I'm in, I'm in an event and they're calling someone's resume and uh, I mean doing a citation, calling him out. Yeah. There's always London School of This. Oh There's yeah. There's always American School, school of, of This. this right? And we don't have the ones that are celebrating the Nigerian schools. Yes, you don't even have the ones that all through, they went through our educational system and said, hey, you know what, it brought something good. good. Hmm. You then have to go back. I mean, if these guys are learning things every single day, and I mean, you're in a school where your lecturer is asking you for sex, mm. right? Uh. Or you have to pay for handouts that the lecturer has not updated in 10 years mm. just for you to pass. And you see your colleague, he's not going through that much stress. And he's getting everything straight oh, A's. Wow. Yeah. It's Oof. very it's so it's very, very easy. <laughs> you need to really ask yourself why. So the problem is most times we just keep jumping around the issue and jumping around the issue. Why? Why is someone so I So I, so you were saying now because we, we were running a bit um, mm -hmm. on a very short time here. You are saying now that First of all, education, if I hear you correctly. Mm -hmm. So what would be the one thing you would point to say that this is where I think we should start from? Um, Basic. I, okay, so I would say two things, right? One is education, but the second would be leadership, right? We need to fix our leadership issues. We need to fix our leadership structure. We need to get more women involved, right? Obama said something recently, and I tweeted it. Some person sent me a message and said it's a lie, but that's them. <laughs> and he said, if I think one third or two thirds of the world is run by women, the world would be a better place. And I agree with him. He's very profound. I did something in my company. We've been running for five years plus now, right? I did something in my company last year. We, then it used to be 90-10, oh. gender ratio, or 80-20 at, at best, right? So I started the journey. And I said, you know what? By 2020, we will be 60-40. 60% female and 40% male. male. Now, since we started that, as I yesterday we were doing our end of year party, I realized that we were 43% um, female and 57% male. Um, but you see, you see that leap has given us almost a, since we started that journey, productivity has increased by 300%. Wow. OK. Oh, so, as much as you keep dancing around the issue, you will never solve it. They know how to manage things better. I mean, ah. Dora. We Kimbo, love you already. <laughs> Dora, <laughs> Dora cleaned up um, Navda. Navda, and yes. On all of the time she Doctor, spent there. Doctor, all of us. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All of the time she spent there, for what she has achieved, there's no other person that there's has been achieved, able to achieve that. Why are we dancing around the issue? Wow. So, in a nutshell, what you have said is the rise in internet fraud has been caused by what the youths are seeing. Because if the youths actually see the leaders actually performing and doing that, uh, they're actually accountable, mm -hmm. then they would want to emulate the leaders. Mm -hmm. So, it still comes back to the education sector. Education. The education sector, whereby we have um, lecturers who are not also accountable, who are not, um, um, they don't have empathy towards the students, and they ask them for sex and improb probably also tell them to pay for a handout they have not um, increased or um, updated yeah. for a period of time. Mm. And the leadership structure in Nigeria should, or in general, should be um, looked into if we have leaders who are accountable. It still comes back to accountability. To lead, to if we are accountable. <laughs> Thank you so much, no. Charles. <laughs> Thank I you. mean, that was, Thank that, you very I mean, much for having me. I think we need to bring you back because there's a lot more that we can discuss around all of this. Mm -hmm. And what I feel, um, what you also said that was profound is the beliefs around money. Yeah. A lot of us just think money is everything. Mm -hmm. So they do anything to get money. And that's what this our young generation now are pursuing. So we hope that our leaders are listening. <laughs> we hope our leaders are, are listening and they will be able to take account but final words, just give us your final thoughts. What you think, you know, um, can, would I say curb 
or how I've asked how we can where we can start from. You've asked said that the state we're in now how is can growing. We curb it? So how can we curb it and begin to shrink it? So the way you gave yourself 2020 by then will be this that. So how mm -hmm. where we are at currently? Mm -hmm. How do you think we can start to probably reverse um, Cycle. psychology yeah. or something? Yeah, um, so I'll break it down in some short steps. Right? The first would be we need to strengthen our checks and balances, okay. which is our own system, right? How much power does the bank manager have? Because, come on, these guys are not importing this money. It's coming through the banks. Hmm. Well, why are we chasing the boys? Yeah. Right? So how, how accountable are our systems, okay. right? What exactly, so are they checks and balances? Are they securities? Things like that. You need to fix some of these things and you then need to be able to identify every Nigerian. Hmm. Okay. You need data, that's you need information. Topic. We need that one. <laughs> but we can't even go there. Yeah, that's another topic. <laughs> Thank you for school. Thank you so much for coming. Um, Tijani Oluwato says success. Joins us after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.